Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Terra Genesis with our Venus playthrough episode 16 with the series here. Um, we're going to go ahead and push on forward. Honestly, the series has gone on for quite some time now, uh, primarily because it took us so much time to get the pressure down. But you can see going through here, temperature is pretty nice. Pressure is right about where it needs to be. It's really close. Oxygen's actually perfect, so we're going to go ahead and shut that off. And then we just need to get water. So let's go ahead and deal with the oxygen now. Everything else is looking great. So we have plus 12 oxygen. You can actually go here and see that I've changed a lot of this. So plus, plus 12. Um, so we'll just turn this minus 12, turn that on, and boom. That's going to handle our oxygen issue. We keep the plus pressure at plus 3. That's fine. Oxygen's right where it needs to be. Heat could go be up a little bit, but it's pretty good. So now all we have to do is worry about getting the water up. We can't have any type of ecosystem without water. So we've got the ice launchers, and those are the things that are really cutting water back. So if we go here and we turn the ice launcher off, that is going to do minus 10 pressure, which I think I can balance that. Let's see. Let's disable one of these. It's going to have pressure going up, plus 13. I think I've either got a plus 12 or I can get one. I don't, but I could get one. We've got two minus four currently. So let's upgrade. Let's see. Let's actually enable both of these and upgrade two of these. I'll even actually hurry them up. And then that should be plus one on pressure, which is better anyways. Because pressure is right about where we want it. So now if we go into water, we can see that's plus 10 a minute. So we'll start working on heading towards that goal of 300,000 centimeters plus 10 a minute. We're going to want to be able to shut that off at some point. So if we go to colonies, go to water. We've already got geo cisterns. Um, what we'll want to do plus 10 is we'll want to have another six and another four. Um, let me just do this. Let me go ahead and build another geocistern here. So that'll put me at... It'll put me at minus, or it'll put me at plus six. It'll put me at plus six. And then that'll be. Plus four. Plus two and zero. So that'll zero it out once all of this is done. We will let these build. And then that once those are done, it's going to zero it out. But um, what we'll do is we'll let those upgrade. Oh, not oxygen. We're going to let these water ones upgrade here. And then we can turn some of this off to get it to go up quicker. After it's already been upgraded, but we'll let it start going up now. And then the only other thing we need to do is we need to... Start building wildlife. That's it. That's the next on our list is just getting wildlife down. So we've got plenty of money to do it. Uh, the temp. Temperature is pretty stable. So there's not a whole lot we have to do there. It's just sitting at zero. Um, and that's it. We could bring it up a little bit. I could turn the cooling plant off and then we could kind of slowly start raising it a bit. But I think I'm going to leave it where it is for now because we've already got some stuff going on. Um, but that this is also going to be our life area, right? So we'll go ahead and go into biomass. We're going to build a tidal enclave. And then we're going to go back into biomass again. And we're going to start getting the automated nursery. So that way we can start working on getting some wildlife on this planet and uh, finishing the planet up. 
at, in terms of the, our culture point, we'll go ahead and spend this culture point. That puts us really close to victory, 85%. So we only need three more culture points to actually achieve victory. And the next point is at 500,000 population. We are at 475. We could probably get 500,000 population. We'll have to uh, upgrade one of these hab domes. That's going to increase our oxygen plus five and our water. So we're going to have to offset those at some point. But let's uh, let's just let everything do what it's going to do now. Um, so we'll leave the heating where it stands right now. We'll let the pressure just stay at its plus one. Uh, oxygen's perfect where it's at for now. We're going to let the water start raising and let those um, automated nurseries build. The water will zero itself out once all that stuff gets upgraded, but then I'll turn a bunch of this off so we can get our water growth going uh, pretty rapidly. And we'll get that up, and then once that's near 300,000, we'll turn it off. We'll start designing our plant life and everything, and once we hit that point, we'll also start building certain things that are going to cancel out each other. Uh, so we can get the additional culture points and we can get the other th we need three more culture points so we can hit victory that way. Uh, with that being said, fairly short episode, but I wanted to follow up with what was going on. So that way, those of you, of you following the series kind of uh, lets you know that I haven't given up. You know, we're still we're still we're actually at a really good spot. I mean, everything being zeroed out the way it is and stuff. Uh, just where we're sitting at, you know, how many years are we in right now? I haven't even looked. I don't know. I can't even see, but I know it's a lot. <laughs> but either way, yeah, that gives you an idea where we're at. So that's pretty good. So uh, we'll probably see the videos here come uh, once again, start coming up a lot more frequently uh, simply because uh, everything is ready to go and we're only waiting for a few things to build, which only takes 30 to 45 minutes. So I'm um, waiting for the water level. This will go up pretty quickly once I turn all this off. So, yeah, you should start seeing these frequently again until uh, we hit victory. With that being said, I want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time.